All right, thinking about the fuselage now, I had a few different ideas. I was just gonna make a foam board box, but I thought uh, it really needs the curvy fuselage. So initially I thought I would make it out of solid foam and sort of carve it into a nice shape, but uh, I think that's gonna be too difficult and take too long. So now I'm 3D printing ribs because uh, they actually give us the cross-section views at, at five different stations down the fuselage so I can get an accurate idea of the cross-section at each of these different points. So I've 3D printed up these ribs and I'll sort of uh, strip in some uh, Depron. There I've just printed some intermediate ribs uh, to go in between the, the main ones just to hold the Depron together. A bit like building a, a model boat, a clinker design boat out of planks and ribs. So that'll just sort of go in between and give it a little bit more um, strength across the joins. So let's get on with that.
that'll about do it for part three. I'll just go through what I've done so far, and it's all to do with the fuselage mainly. Uh, it's been interesting, a bit frustrating, because it's quite a complex shape. Uh, I've made quite a few mistakes, and the biggest one is that uh, I'm working from a drawing of not the MB326, this is the MB339, which was the uh, successor, has a quite a different body shape. So using the cross-section shapes on this diagram uh, gives me sort of really a weird shape. And I've had to sort of cut the formers and glue them back together to get the, the basic uh, retro cigar shape that uh, the MB326 has. I've sort of made up the tail section so it looks kind of like the real thing. The uh, horizontal stabiliser is up higher than the real thing, but that's cool. Easier to build that way. I'm, what I'm doing now is um, trying to come up with a, a better canopy. This one, I don't like this too much. I'm using sort of milk bottles and things to try and make up the curvy shape, but uh, not working out all that well, really. I'll try and come up with a a more elegant design for the canopy. This is the one of the Phoenix or Ranger canopies, could be the 2400, I'm not too sure. I've, I've got plenty of spare ones sitting around, so it could be any of them, but that kind of works nicely as the front part of the canopy. I just need to sort of have this orange part tapering back. Using the planking method on formers, uh, well, you can come up with some good shapes, but you really need to take a lot of care shaping the individual planks more care than I've taken if you want a really nice smooth result. Um, I'm finding I couldn't really sand it very smooth because the hot glue that I used prevents your sanding basically. So that was a bit frustrating. Any sort of uh, part that I've sanded, uh, the tape doesn't want to stick to or even the iron on laminate doesn't want to stick to. So I've been trying a few different um, techniques and one of them is ironing it with a with a warm iron to sort of flatten out the the fuzzy bits of the foam and that does help or even spraying with some uh, spray adhesive just a light spray letting it dry or half dry and then you can put the tape on it and it actually sticks so uh, learning new stuff as I go along. Underneath uh, the wing is rubber banded on for the moment just so that I can make adjustments eventually I might uh, permanently attach it and I've just got this uh, binary skid plate taped on there just to uh, cover in that area. I'll tape that up to uh, match the colours of the underneath. Haven't worked out whether I'm going to put the motor on the front or the back. It's not going to be an EDF. I don't like EDFs. So, uh, building a scratch built EDF is not going to be easy anyway. Uh, something else I'm doing, I'm toying with some designs for the little jet inlets. I'm using green at the moment just for test prints because that's uh, not a favourite colour. So test them in green then I'll print them in white and colour them up. That one was a bit too small that way and a bit too open that way so uh, just adjusting it and that's printing now. Look at that I've just painted myself. Uh, the most exciting news is that uh, an old school friend of mine contacted me and said um, he's got a, a vinyl cutter and would I like him to cut up the decals and the, uh, the roulettes script R. So he's gone ahead and done that. He's, it's in the post that's coming to me. It'll be arriving after Easter. So that's going to make it look really authentic uh, and it'll hide some of my rough build techniques, I think. So thanks very much, Paul. That will be awesome and um, I think it'll look great. I don't want to get your hopes up for the Maiden because uh, we're in lockdown. We will be in lockdown for quite a while. Uh, it may be months before I can get a, a Maiden flight. What we're doing in Australia is working, so I'm going to stick to the letter of the law about that and not go out uh, unless it's essential. So I'll keep plugging away at this. In the next video, I'll be, uh, what will I be doing? Putting the servos on the tail, deciding where I want the motor, putting Paul's uh, decals on as well. Uh, and it'll be pretty much finished. It could work as a sloper, possibly. It's the wrong airfoil for a sloper. It's a symmetrical NACA airfoil, not a glider airfoil at all. Uh, but it would work on a nice windy day on a big hill. So we'll get to that when we can get out and go flying again. Thanks for watching.